everybody, welcome to another video. My name is Infinity and today I am back with another crochet stitch tutorial. As you guys know, cables are my absolute favorite. So today I'm going to be showing you guys how to crochet the Arabelle cable, which offers this lovely braided pattern. Now you might be saying, yeah, duh, Infinity, cables are always braided. Well, this one has the section in between here that makes it look like a true three strand braid. And... I really love it which shouldn't come as a shock to you guys so without further ado I would love to dive into this video before I do so I ask that you subscribe and ring that notification bell so that I can be part of your crochet journey going forward also I ask that you stick around to the end so that you can hear more about my crochet knitting pattern club which is kind of like my patreon thing but built into my website so anyway Stick around to the end of the video so I can tell you more about that program and how you can further support this channel. Alright, let's dive in. For today's tutorial, I will be chaining 19. As you saw in my secondary swatch there though, I chained 38 in order to get the cables, more than one cable on one swatch. So if you're going to make a wider project, I suggest that you um, chain up accordingly. and 19. Alright, now that I have my 19 chains, I'm going to double crochet in the fourth chain from my hook. So, one, two, three, four. I'm going to double crochet into that. Alright, and now we are going to double crochet into each chain along until the end of the row. And working into that last chain there with a double crochet. Oops. Alright, for row two, we are going to chain up three. One, two, three. Turn our work. And we are going to double crochet into the next three stitches. So, not this one where the chain is coming out of, but into the next stitch over. It's one. Okay, there's two. And there's three. Alright, now what we're going to do is skip three stitches and then we're going to front post treble crochet into the next three stitches after that. So, we're not going to work into these three stitches, but I'm going to yarn over twice. And I am going to insert my hook into one side of this fourth stitch over, and not the other side. Yarn over, pull up a loop. Yarn over, pull through two. Yarn over, pull through two. Yarn over, pull through two. That is a front post treble crochet. Alright, we're going to do that again. Yarn over twice. Into the, around that next double crochet we are going to create a front post treble okay I'm going to do that again one two three alright now we are going to yarn over twice because we're going to go back into those stitches that we skipped so we're going to go all the way back to that first stitch that we skipped there and we are going to work a front post treble crochet. So you're going to go oops, back and behind. That's kind of awkward to show. Hold on. <laughs> you're going to go back and you're going to go behind that first stitch from right to left okay you might have to fold those previous trebles forward so you can see that yarn over pull up a loop now you're going to yarn over pull through two to the end two three okay and we're going to do that again yarn over twice i'm going to fold this fabric forward because it might make all of our lives easier go around that second stitch come out the other side and we're going to yarn over and pull through two 
to the end. Okay. All right, now that we have done that, we're gonna create a front post double crochet across the next three stitches. So we're gonna yarn over just once, and we're gonna look over into our next stitches, and we're gonna just create regular front post double crochets. Right, there we go and now what we are going to do is we are going to double crochet into the last three so there's one two and three and then we're going to place a double crochet onto the top of that chain three from the previous row All right, and this is what our work looks like so far. Now we are on to row three. All right, now we're ready to move on to row three. In order to move on to row three, I'm going to chain up two, turn my work, and I'm gonna half double crochet into the next three stitches. So I'm gonna yarn over, insert my hook into the next stitch over, not the one where my chain is coming out of. Insert my hook, yarn over, pull up the loop, yarn over, pull through all three loops on my hook. Right, gonna do that in the next stitch. And into the next stitch. Alright, now that I've done that, we are now going to back post double crochet into the next nine stitches. So, I'm gonna insert my hook between those stitches one row below from right to left, coming out the back of the work. I'm gonna yarn over, pull up a loop. Yarn over, pull through two. Yarn over, pull through two. Okay, and we're gonna do that eight more times. All right, and now what I'm going to do is I'm going to half double crochet into the next three double crochet and into that last stitch, which is our chain from the previous row. So there's one half double crochet, two half double crochet, Three half double crochet and the last one into the top of this chain from the previous row. Just like that. Alright, and of course this is the back side of our work and what it looks like. Now we are on to row four. For row four we're going to chain up three. Two, three, turn our work. All right, and what we're gonna do is we are going to double crochet into the next three stitches. So not the one where our chain is coming out of, but the one next to it. There's one in that stitch. One in the next stitch. Let's pull out our yarn a little bit. Okay, and then there's one in the next stitch. Okay, now that we have done that, we're going to front post double crochet into the next three stitches. So, 
again. There's one, two, three. Okay, and now what we're going to do is we're going to skip three double crochet and we're going to front post treble crochet into the next three. So I'm skipping one, two, three, and I'm going to go over to that fourth one. And front post treble. And the fun thing about crochet cables is that they get less fiddly as you go along. So they're a lot easier to work and see as you build up height on them. Okay. There's that third one. And now we're going to go back and we are going to front post treble crochet across those stitches that we skipped. Alright, and here's one. Two, and there's three. All right, and now we are going to double crochet into the last four stitches of our row. Alright, and this is what it looks like now. Okay, now we're going to move on to the final row of our repeat, which is row 5. So we're going to chain 2. Turn our work. We are going to half double crochet into the next 3 stitches. Again, not where our chain is coming out of. There's 1. There's two, and there's three. Okay, now that we have done that, we are going to back post double crochet into the next nine stitches. So, again, we're just gonna work some regular back post double crochets. Alright, and now we are going to half double crochet into the last four stitches of our row. Alright, and 
that is the end of row five and this is what the cable starts to look like let me focus that for you this is what the cable starts to look like and as you work up more rows it will eventually flatten out to start to look like our previous swatches here so yeah i would of course be using this stitch pattern for garments mostly um it looked really nice on a scarf you can also use it for home decor if you use a coarser yarn and make pillows and things like that out of it again i just love cables so i'm a little biased when i tell you that it's perfect for almost anything that you want to make I hope today's video was helpful for you guys. If so, don't forget to leave it a thumbs up. Don't forget to subscribe and ring that notification bell so you don't miss out on future crochet content from me. And if you love the way I teach here on YouTube, then you're absolutely going to love the way that I teach behind my members club, Hey Craftopreneur. Hey Craftopreneur is basically like my Patreon where members get access to my full crochet knitting pattern, central knitting machine pattern library that not only comes with the written instructions but it also comes with step-by-step -step video tutorials so if you like my crochet projects that i post here on the channel under my community tab or if you like my centro sock patterns that i've updated those things are all available to my members that support goes a long way for the channel as far as it goes towards equipment and then just me and my life and stuff so if you want to support me and infinity crafting co at the same time i ask that you head over today sign up for hey craftypreneur and become a super crafty today otherwise you can check me out on instagram and all of my other social media which is linked down in the description box below always and until next time thanks for watching and happy making Hey, if you enjoyed this video and you want to see more, consider heading over to my Ko-fi page linked in the description box below and buying me a coffee. Doing so allows me to continue to develop these tutorials here on YouTube and Rumble, and you also get your name featured at the ends of my videos. Thanks for watching, and until next time, happy making.